Welcome to Strength Side. We're talking about overactive upper traps and some exercises that we can do to calm those down and um, activate the opposing muscle group, which would be your shoulder depressors. Okay, so before we get into the exercises, first let's talk about the traps and the upper traps. Now, these are a muscle group that are very big and that are going to be involved in a lot of movements. Okay, so before you start thinking that uh, your trap should never be working, um, remember that these are big muscles that need to work in a lot of the motions that you're doing with your shoulder. Now, with that being said, if you feel like every time you do anything, you know, you go to a row or something, these traps just kind of bring your shoulder up and you're always kind of in this shoulder up position, shoulder elevated position, then yes, we may need to take some steps towards, um, you know, getting these to relax so the other muscles of your shoulders can uh, do their job as well, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to work on activating that opposing muscle group, your shoulder depressors, with a few of these exercises. Let's get to it. This first exercise is a seated shoulder depression. This is a very, very basic exercise. You me and your mom could do this exercise very easily. I mean that with all due respect. And all we're gonna do is sit down on something. I'm sitting on this massage table. Uh, you could be on a couch. You could also be on the ground, right? I could just have my legs out sitting on the ground. It really doesn't matter, but you're just seated. You're gonna put your hands right at the side into the back of your butt here, okay? So right next to where your hips are, are uh, is seated, 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 seated on the ground, okay, or your table or couch. And what we're going to do here is we're going to get that chest up, right? So without over extending the back and flaring that rib cage, I just want to make sure that my chest is popped up to where my shoulders are back. I'm not here, right? I got my chest popped up to where I'm in a very upright position. And now from here, I'm gonna press my hands down into this table. When I do this, it forces the shoulder away from my ear. We're creating some space here and these shoulders are being forced down, right? So now I'm simply holding this position of pressing my shoulders down away from my neck, okay? So we're forcing these shoulders into depression. Um, if you come up here and feel your upper traps, they're gonna be very relaxed in this position. And those muscles that uh, kind of depress the shoulder like your uh, serratus anterior, your rhomboids, uh, these muscles are gonna be a lot more active in this position we're going to be training these muscles to hold that uh, shoulder depression to relax those traps a little bit more. So hold this position for 30 seconds to start. We can work our way up to a minute. You come out of this, you feel a little bit more relaxed. Okay, next exercise. So now we are going to do a side seated shoulder depression. I totally just made that name up for this exercise. So I hope it sounded good. But basically, you're going to be just chilling as I'm chilling here. This is kind of this little playboy position like you were going to pose for a picture. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually just going to arm bar the ground here, right? This is like I'm giving the, the ground a stiff arm here. And I'm going to sink down into this shoulder. But then from here, right, this is kind of this position that we don't want when these traps become too active and we're kind of sinking into that shoulder. Now what we're going to work on is pushing the ground away, boom, and we're going to hold that position for a couple seconds, one, two, and then we're going to sink back down. Now we sink back down. This is just passive right here. We just kind of sink down into it. We're not trying to uh, force this position or anything. Just sink down and then we push away hard, right? Boom. This is the position that we want to hold for a couple seconds, get comfortable with. Boom. 
This muscle right here, your serratus anterior, is going to be doing a lot of the work here. So you should feel that kind of working right underneath the shoulder, or I'm sorry, the armpit. Right? Now to make this more challenging, simply just move the hips away from the arm a little bit. Now I got more of my body weight to control here with my arm. Keep that elbow straight, don't sink into it. Elbow straight, boom. Arm bar, right? I'm stiff arming the ground, just like your favorite running back, right? Sink in, boom, arm bar away. You can throw in a little, get fancy here. Point to your girl across the gym. Boom, stiff arm away, okay? These muscles are gonna become active. These muscles that control that shoulder being in a more downward position. Okay, ready for the last exercise. This last exercise, you're probably gonna skip. But it's probably the most important exercise. So you probably shouldn't skip it. All this exercise is, is breathing. Now what happens is when you become a shallow breather, so you're just breathing into your chest. We've all heard the term mouth breathers, right? We're here, breathing into the mouth, just breathing into this chest. Muscles become active to do your breathing, to go through your respiratory uh, system that aren't supposed to be active, right? So now we have this pec minor and this, these scalenes and these upper traps working to help you breathe when really they should be relaxed during your breathing and other muscles like your diaphragm should be more engaged just to do that simple thing that we all do to survive, which is breathe. Right? So we have to train this, right? It sounds very simple and you might not want to do this portion, but it's very, very important to calming down these traps if that's your problem. Okay? And I think that might be your problem because that's why you're watching this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down on the ground here, just like this. I wanna prop my feet down on the ground so my knees are up. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force my upper back and my lower back down to the ground so I'm nice and straight. My chin's gonna be tucked, so I'm not here, I'm not here. Boom, just looking straight up ahead. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna breathe down into my belly. And then after I reach my belly, I'm gonna fill up air into my chest cavity. And then I'm gonna exhale all the way out, okay? So watch me do this. Okay, so that was three full breaths there. And I didn't even really get comfortable until that third breath, okay? Now that third breath came down, started down here into this belly portion, and then it worked its way up into my chest and I could inhale this complete torso here. And then after that, I could exhale all the way out, right? So it took a while to get that air all the way gone. And then after that, I can take my next inhale, okay? So some things that you wanna be aware of is not arching the back and letting just that chest feel, right? We also don't wanna go the other way to where we're too much with the shoulders forward here and we're just still breathing only into the chest, right? We want to let everything relax to where we can just fully breathe throughout the
out this whole whole cavity here okay this whole torso region should fill should be full of air at the height of your inhale okay so all you're gonna do is just lay down on the ground take we'll say 10 breaths to start we'll work that we'll work up to where you could take 30 breaths in a row full inhale full exhale all the way now I want to challenge you to get up after those 30 breaths and still have overactive traps still feel like your traps are too too tight now my guess or my belief is that after you're down on the ground and you're taking those full breaths and you're activating the right muscles and not using these upper neck muscles to breathe that you're gonna feel pretty good you're gonna want to go and dance maybe do your favorite sport whatever it is all right guys that's the video sorry i turned out a little bit longer than i planned but i had a lot to say on that topic shout out to one of my clients todd bowman who is always talking about making those traps a little bit softer all right and that's what we're doing here today these three exercises getting some softness in that upper trap region hey if you made it this far then i respect you and you might as well go ahead and like the video subscribe to strength side uh we do videos every week so stay tuned i will see you in the next one